Okay, here's the two-way simulation exam. So if we don't get to this in our lecture time, you'll have a guide to do it on your own. So we want to select B and C. And we're going to right-click and insert two columns. Then we want to use flash fill to insert the categories which begin with ornaments in column B, beginning at B6. So then we go to data. And our flash fill button is this one with the lightning bolt in it. May have forgotten to select it. There we go. And then in C6, we're going to do porcelain ornament. And hit enter. We're going to use flash fill to copy products, which we give it. Porcelain ornament down, complete in the column. So we go to act to that cell, we hit flash fill again, and we want to delete column A after we've done so. So there's step one. So we're going to cut and paste to move column C to G. So we're going to highlight C, uh, use our scissors to cut. We're going to go to G, we're going to use our paste button to paste. And then we're going to highlight C again. We're going to right click and we're going to hit delete. Now we want to auto fit the width of columns A through F. So let's select A through F. We're going to go to format and auto fit column width. And that's question two. Question three wants us to go to J11. And it wants us to enter a function that will sum our total profit from E6 to E35. So we're going to go to formulas and then under auto sum we're going to click sum and now it automatically does what it wants to do but I'm going to change that to E6 colon E35 then J5 we're going to and I want to do average, so we're going to use more functions. Statistical and average, our second option. And we're going to type C6 colon C35. And we have our average. Now in J7, we're going to insert the median. We're going to have value right in the middle, so formulas more functions, statistical, we're going to scroll down to median, and we want C6, colon C35, we have a median of 17, now we're going to do the min and max, so let's go to J6, go to formulas, more functions, Statistical, we're going to go down to min, our same range, C6 to C35, and we're going to get our max by going to J8, more functions, statistical and max, same range we just typed in, and enter. So we now want to move the data that's in H5 through J12. And we highlight the range. We hover over the range on the, the heavy black line. When we get our compass light cross, we're going to click and drag that to B5. We see we have our hashtag error. So it wants us to 
simultaneously auto fit C and D. So I'm going to select C and D. I'm going to go to format. I'm going to do auto fit column width. And for our range within the cells we moved, we want to apply a different cell style. So we're going to go to cell styles. And under titles and headings, we see theme cell styles. We want the one that's 20% accent too. So this light orange looking color. Sorry, I did too much of a range for my coloring. So B5 through D9, cell styles, 20% accent too. So we're going to merge B5 and B9. We can go right click and format cells. We can do cell styles up here under alignment. We're going to click merge cells and hit OK. Now we want to change the orientation. We shouldn't have even closed the dialog box because we're right back here. Right click, format cells, alignment, and we're going to type 22 here. Okay. That's it for 27. So in 28, we're going to do count if. So let's go to C9. We're going to type stationary products. And hit enter. So in D9, we want to use the count if function. So we go to formulas, more functions, statistical, and we do count if. In our dialog box, our range is a15 through A44, and our criteria is stationary. We hit OK. Two nine has us using our if function. So in cell F15, We're going to insert an if function that will automatically display discontinue if the value in D15 is less than 1500 or no change if it's greater than or equal to 1500. So we're going to go to logical, formulas, ribbon, logical, if our test is D15 is less than 1500, the value of true is discontinue. The debt value with false is no change. And we can hit OK. Now we're going to fill this all the way down to 44. So we use our fill handle with our heavy filled in square at the bottom right of our cell and down to 44. Now we're going to do some conditional formatting to make this a little easier to read and make quicker decisions with. Excuse me while I take some water. So we want to apply conditional formatting to F15 through 44. It's already chosen for us. That's in our home part of our ribbon with styles. We're going to tick down for conditional formatting. And we want to highlight cell rules and text contains. And we want to type discontinue here. I already have it here, so we're a little lucky. And it wants us to do the dark red font. So we hit our down arrow, our custom format, our color. We want to use the first one in standard colors.
Maybe we want to change the cell color to no color, so we tick fill, we tick no color, and we hit OK, and OK. Now we have some conditional formatting. Now we want to add data bars, which are conditional formatting as well, to D15 through D44. So home, styles, conditional formatting, data bars. We want gradient fill red. Okay, so we want to use find and replace. So we want to select A15 through A44. And we want to use find and replace to change clothing to apparel. So from our home ribbon under editing, we're going to tick find and select. And we're going to tick replace. We're going to type in clothing and then apparel. and replace all so three changes okay and close so 12 we want to use the now function to get our system date so in d12 we make it active we go to formulas date and time we choose now and enter So 213, we want to freeze and unfreeze. So we're being told to make A1 our active cell. We want to freeze rows above row 15. So we're going to hit 15 just to, I guess we can leave it there. We're going to go to data, sorry, view, and freeze panes, and Freeze pane, so I do need four fifteen done. Sorry. Freeze panes, freeze panes. So now we see that the freeze worked, and now we're going to unfreeze by clicking freeze and unfreeze again. So two fourteen, we're going to insert a table with headers using range A14 through 44. So we select A14 through F44. We go insert and then table, which is under the table section. And we hit okay. We want a orange table style light 10 under light. So with table design, we go to table styles. And under light, we want orange table style light 10, which is our second row, fourth column. Now we're going to do some sorting in our table. We first want to sort the table A to Z by analysis. So we take the depth down arrow for analysis, and we're going to sort A to Z. And now by category, same A to Z. And price, smallest to largest. So now we're going to filter our table to just show the kitchen category. So we go over to category, hit the down arrow. We tick select all. We tick kitchen and hit OK. We want to use the total row to make some counts for kitchen. So we have our table still highlighted. We go to table design and tick total row. And now we want a sum for the total quantity sold for this. So in D45, we click to make it active in our drop down. We choose the function we want this total row to do, so it's sum. So 217, we're going to clear the filters and remove the top row. 
So we know if there's a filter applied, if we get our cursor with our arrow, so just hover, hovering over them. We know we only have the one. So we tick it and we type, what well, we don't type, we click clear filter from category. And to remove the total, we go to table design and untick total row. <clears throat> In 218, we're going to work with the view for Zoom. So we have our table lit here. We're going to go to view. I don't even know what I was saying there. Take Zoom and go down to 50 and hit OK. And we're going to return it to 100. Now we're going to split our window and unsplit it. So we're going to go to E10. And we're already in view, so under window, we're going to do split. And then we're going to split again, and we're going to make A1 our active. Now we're going to change our theme, which we know is in page layout. Theme, and then want slice, which is our first column, third row. Now we want to choose E through F, and we're going to change the column width to 15. So we go back to home, format, go down to column width, and we're going to type 15 and OK. And now we're going to print titles and scale the fit. We're going to first change our orientation to landscape. And now we want to modify our worksheet so that column headers in row 14 display on every printed page. So we're still in page layout. We're going to do print titles, then rows to repeat at the top. And we see now we can select our row that we want. So we want row 14 and we get the absolute value of 14. We expand our dialog box and we can hit OK. Now we want to go to print preview, so file and print. We want to change our scaling, which is in this section, to fit all columns on one page. So take down all columns on one page, and our assignment's done. Hope this helps everyone.